today. The weather is not as good as I wish it would be, so it's kind of raining and snowing more or less at the same time. So let's do a little training in the warehouse at Power Slide, and I'm gonna do some little slalom training today. For this, I adapt a little bit my skate today. I changed my frame. I actually put a super short frame. It's a 270 millimeters frame, and I put three times 110 millimeters wheel on it. And uh, yeah, but still, my uh, power slide triple X shoes here. So yeah, let's work the ankle skills with this and see how good I can be in salon. It's like. Yes, I didn't make this, so it's a good opportunity today. So check a little bit my parallel stop skills. I'm also skating with Humberto. He's a 3D designer at Power Slide, and he actually is using some skate with a rocker. So coming from speed, we actually don't really know what is a rocker, but Humberto. Can you explain me a little bit, or explain us, what is a rocker or a rocket frame? So here I'm wearing the uh, USD Carbon Levy 2016, and uh, the Kizer uh, the Kizer Element 90, which is uh, 90 millimeter wheels, 4 by 90 millimeter wheels, with the central wheels uh, rockering down one millimeter. It means that uh, the first wheels and the last wheels are not touching the floor by one millimeter and it gives you more agility when you want to make a little turn yourself. Okay, that's why all the freestyle skaters, they are super agile. They use this a lot? They're smart. Yeah. They're smart. Okay, I need to try this one time also. Maybe not today, but... I want to try some uh, frame with a rocker soon. Now, uh, to trick this, to make it, because I have a flat setup, for ta three times 110 now, what I try to do when I do my little uh, slalom, I try to put most of my weight on the back part of the skate. So it put pressure on the back wheels, and it lifts a little bit the front wheel, so it creates a little bit the same effect that uh, a rocker uh, frame. It's not really as good, but it's a little trick when you have only a flat setup. Rocket frame or rocker system, it simulates a little bit like the ice skating uh, frames. You know, ice skating, the, the blade, they are not totally flat. They have a little shape like this. We call this the rounding, and it really helps you to turn. So, depending on the rounding you choose, you can make sharp sharp turn or a wide turn. In long track, for example, many skaters, they will use a rounding of 23 meters uh, radius. So, and when you do short track, you have much more something uh, to make it simple that is 10 meters. So, making a rock uh, system is kind of create this uh, simulation of, um, of a round frame and uh, it helps you to turn much faster actually. What is nice to do is also to make the slalom a little bit different. So, if you trick with the shape, so 
So you see, you can put the cones a little more and more wide, and it make a different skills to work on for your ankle. So it's quite a good. I like to do this. It's a it's a nice system for walking the edge. few jump or so and I can confirm that with age I lose a lot of agility. I'm not super confident in jumping actually so I think I will walk a bit this part again now. It's not normal not to feel confident on jumping it's a, one of the basic skills so when you can jump you can do much better push or so on your skate later so let's work on this little bit. Mm -hmm. 